Sally made landfall on Alabama's Gulf Coast as a Category 2 hurricane. Let's get back to Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins tonight, who's keeping an eye on Sally, which Bobby is now a tropical storm, but still certainly something to watch. Oh, absolutely. 60 mile per hour wind, so the wind threat will come down, but still 60 mile per hour widespread winds near the center can cause some issues. Rainfall will be the main issue, though, as it moves up across parts of the southeast. So we're on the south side, obviously, and you can see some rain bands. And if the storm itself goes in that direction, all of this is going in that direction. And so we're going to get some of the tail end of this, if you will, through the day. Well, actually starting before the sun comes up tomorrow and then through the day on Thursday. Nothing terrible, but definitely more clouds and, and sun, uh, more clouds and rain than what we saw today. We actually saw some sunshine today. It was nice out there. All right, here's a look at the storm now. Finally, a break for the panhandle of Florida. Uh, you get over towards southern Alabama as well, too. Now, there are still some heavy rain bands coming through, but the constant rain they've been seeing for more than two days now is finally starting to break up and will continue to thin out over the next 24 hours. But again, you can see the moisture is going to continue now up into parts of the southeast. So here's the forecast track from the Hurricane Center. It's finally moving northeast at seven miles per hour. This thing had meandered before landfall, allowing it to strengthen and dump a whole lot of rainfall. You can see it will be becoming what we call remnant low over the Carolinas by Charlotte by the time we get towards early on Friday morning. Now winds, we had a little breeze out there for us today, generally out of the south. It'll go south, southwest tomorrow, but you can see the winds. Obviously, we lost, we lost data up there in Pensacola, and you're going to expect that. But we've got gusts almost to 40 miles per hour in Panama City still with sustained winds well into the 20s. All right, rainfall, the main issue from this point out, and you can see the heavy rain through Atlanta, through uh, higher elevations of North Carolina, right up into the mountains. And when you get into that, that relief that they have, the mountains and the hills, it can really funnel the heavy rainfall. So you can get some real flooding issues there. It's anywhere from about three to six inches of rainfall. And remember we talked yesterday, does it go north, does it go south, or backwards? It looks like it's going north. And that's going to mean more rain up into parts of southeastern Virginia. All right, we got a lot to talk about. 20% chance for this one way over here. No, not a big deal. 50 to 70% chance for that one coming off of Africa. And guys, we even have one in the Gulf of Mexico that has about a 50 to 70% chance as well. So let's talk about Teddy. Teddy's a strong hurricane. Cat 2, forecast to go to Cat 3 and right up towards Bermuda. But looks like it should recur but not affect the United States. Tropical Storm Vicky, barely that will fall apart over the next 24 to 36 hours. This is Invest 90L. You see the forecast models, yeah, trying to go back up towards New Orleans, towards Louisiana, but I think it'll end up kind of hugging the coast and more Texas and Mexico will have to watch that more than anything else. This is Invest 98L, and you can see this is a wave that came off of Africa. This too looks like it wants to follow behind where Teddy came and then maybe even fall apart Long range models don't do too much with it, but it has a 70% chance of developing. And then you've got this is actually an extra tropical low now that's going to head over towards Portugal and Spain. <sighs> I can't wait for the season to be over. I don't know about you.